Welcome back everyone. This is the penultimate perspective drawing video. This video is three point perspective and I hope you learn. So we are beginning and with enjoy. our horizon line and our three vanishing points. The vanishing points are A, B and C and everything is in the shape of a T basically for this drawing. I'm just including the height of my object there. It's 800 millimeters and I'm just changing the layer. Right, so let's go. We have everything we need. Um, I did the horizon line and the vanishing points off camera, but it's pretty straightforward. So the first thing we are doing is we are just pulling our lines from the top of the object to the top two vanishing points to A and B and this three point perspective drawing will be in a top down view meaning you'll be looking at the top of the object and it will be vanishing to the bottom or below. I'm establishing the lengths of my sides using the arc command it's 200 millimeters. You would have seen me do this in some of the previous drawings, the one and two point perspective. So yeah, so this is what we are doing right now. And I am proceeding to connect these points to the vanishing points. So they create that little box at the top. And that is also the top of the object. Similarly, from those points, I pull the lines down to C. That's the vanishing point at the bottom. And that is the third vanishing point. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm just measuring 400 millimeters. That, that was an error, by the way. I'm measuring 400 millimeters down from the top of my object, the front top. That's to establish where the bottom of the object will be. Yes, the base of my object in this case doesn't go all the way down to the vanishing point. All right, most, li most times it won't. But I don't know if your drawing may require you to do that, but most likely it won't. So here you can see the outline of our drawing, of our object. It's a cuboid. And yeah, it's a standing cuboid with the vanishing point down below. And what we're going to do now is simply highlight the outline by changing the layers so you can see it in all its glory so that's what we're doing here if you are hearing some noise in the background that would be my neighbors and I do apologize Okay, and there you have it. This is our, our cuboid. This is our object in three-point perspective. Uh, as I said earlier, this is a top-down view. If you want, you can do it as a bottom-up view so that you are viewing it from below and it is vanishing to a point above the object. But um, it's pretty straightforward, very simple. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. We, I have another video which will be the final one for the perspective series.